In the previous two sections, we have seen JDK installation and usage of VI editor to develop simple Java programs. Now let me show installation of MySQL server. MySQL server installation. You can install even Oracle also, but it is very lengthy, very vast. MySQL is very simple. The Oracle is not recommended here. If customer is forcing you to install Oracle, to use Oracle, then only go for Oracle. So while learning, you need to know at least one database in the cloud. I am showing MySQL database. MySQL database, how to install and how to use in the cloud environment. It is much more simpler, much more simpler. Let me restart the session. Please type sudo su. So this is the command used for getting all super user, super user privileges, privileges. In the AWS, there is one predefined service to install, predefined service to install MySQL server. So mention sudo space yum install mysql hyphen server space mysql I'll show you this <coughs> straight away installation no need of downloading it is already available in the AWS from the AWS itself you are installing among guys no need of downloading straight away you can install from the AWS Sir, we are installing in in EC2 instances, right, sir? Instance. Yes. We are installing in the yes, EC2 thank instance you. from the cloud. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So this is no need of downloading. It is already available in the AWS. From there, we are installing in our EC2 instance. In our EC2 instance. We are installing. No need of download. Only downloading is not required. Rest of the things we are doing. So as it is already available in the AWS, it is using straight away and installing in our EC2 instance. Initially, there is a common warning. You can ignore that common warning. So go for acceptance. Type Y. Acceptance purpose. MySQL software already available in the AWS. We are installing. No downloading. Downloading is not required. Straight away it will take the software from the AWS 
and installs in our EC2 instance. Installs in our EC2 instance. Installation got over. So please observe. So that is the simple through a single command we can do the installation. We can do the installation. So after installation, start the vertical sorry, start the MySQL service with a sudo. sudo space service space mysql d mysql d then start this is the command you have to use Pseudo service MySQL D start. Press enter. It is trying to start the MySQL service. After starting MySQL service, you can just check it out the status. Service MySQL D status. Service MySQL D status. Service MySQL D then status. It will give the complete MySQL status. You can see the last line started MySQL database server. Started MySQL database server. Very simple. Just three commands with respect to MySQL. Only three commands. One for installation, another for starting. Third one, confirmation whether starting is done or not. Confirmation whether starting is done or not. So please upset my skill server start. Now open a client MySQL client. MySQL C 
sorry mysql space hyphen u then root mysql space hyphen u root mysql hyphen u root mysql hyphen u root this is for opening mysql client server is installed server started server is installed server is started then open the client for client purpose command name is mysql user as a root hyphen u root user we are entering into mysql with a root user so you should get this window every if you get a window like this then the total mysql server download installation starting everything is proper now client is ready server already started server already started client is ready this is all about mysql server installation and connecting from the client mysql client server installed server started client connected client connected if you see this window all are ready from